All right, the next um, part is going to highlight the revolve tool. And so let's just do a new standard part file. And unless it says specifically to do metric, go ahead and do it as an inches part file. Uh, that's what this one would be. Um, we'll go ahead and create a sketch. And on here, I want to purposely not pick the origin at first. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing my line. And I know it doesn't have to be very big. And you'll notice if I keep clicking, I can keep clicking and sketching lines. And also notice that we can control whether they are perpendicular or parallel to other geometry we have already sketched. So again, I purposely picked to not have that connected to the origin yet. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add some dimensions in. What's that got to be? 0.156. And then what else do I need to do? We have a thickness there of 0.25. And a total length that's 4.469. OK. And then you'll notice there's this axis of revolution line that we want to draw. So that's why I didn't. I want to draw that in on top of the origin. OK. So I know it's hard to see that I drew it on top of the origin line. But then, let's see here, let me go to maximum view. Over here, there's a way to turn that into a construction line. So I click construction and then click the line. And notice that that line that I just drew is now a dash line. So I know most of the time you were drawing lines in, um, well, I just finished the sketch, but you were when you were drawing lines, um, to do um, sketching, we sometimes drew construction lines. That can be a very powerful tool here because we don't want that to be an object line. That just needs to be a construction line. Now, since I exited the sketch, I'm going to go back in and edit that sketch. Okay, and then I can come back and add some additional dimensions now. So the distance between the construction line and the bottom of course is 1.375 divided by 2 and then the distance from the construction line down to the other end of course is 0.1875 divided by 2 And again, because the original diagram gave us diameters for those, and we're revolving it, we're revolving with the radius. OK, and it still says we have two dimensions needed. Um, one thing we could do is now let's go back in and let's Coincident, let's make sure if we put this line on top of the on line with the origin. Now, now it says we're missing one constraint yet. So, oh, the construction line is not dimensioned. Okay, so that's the dimension that's missing. So that's really no big deal. Our, our object that we're revolving has all changed colors. So it's fully constrained. Okay, so... Then if we um, finish the sketch, OK, 
Okay, then it shows us the setup windows that we're going to do for this. We will select Revolve, and since there's only that one profile selected, that's all that's there. And then notice it automatically switches to what's ax what are we going to pick for our axis. So we can select the axis. And then the only other thing to do with this file, if you notice, we see that the ends are kind of rounded off. Okay, so that would just be to add some quarter inch fillets to the ends. So before we fill it off some some square edges, you can also fill it round edges. Okay, so save that as revolve. 